but they always had like a cabin. They always rented. On my dad's side. Usually we had like a dock we go fishing on. There was a boat to go boating on. Usually we would uh, the kids would go play outside and go on hikes and whatnot. And my dad, dad's family would you know stay inside and play cards and drink and eat lots of food. There was this one time my dad drove my grandpa and my grandma and my brother and my other brother and my mom and I all to Wyoming. It was like a 14 hour trip. We drove us all in like this one van. We spent most of the time watching the Simpsons reruns on VHS. Uh, we had like a little TV player in between uh, the two chairs in the front. And uh, we'd stop the only couple times. I don't think my dad got any sleep, but he stayed. I think one night we kind of like camp for a very small period of time. Uh, where you like pulled over the side of the road and I took a nap. And it was like the middle of the night. But he did it anyways. So you didn't want to pay for a hotel for his whole stay at. Maybe it was like the third night. This time that we went to Philadelphia. It's kind of weird. In retrospect. But as a kid, it didn't seem that weird. You just keep driving until you're done driving, right? And then you need to stop. I don't think, uh, I don't know, I got kind of tired of those road trips after a while, but, uh, at some point I must have fallen asleep, I think it was probably after last year, I kind of stopped driving because I got pretty tired of driving, it's not really childhood, but it's kind of like, Coming from my childhood memories, as in sort of where maybe where my love slash hatred for driving comes from. Those long, really long road trips where you drive hours and hours and hours until your butt's tired and your back's sore. And you really probably should have stopped at least twice, but uh, you still like still do it anyway for some reason.